everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a new unboxing video. Hope you're all having a really good day. Today, I've had two more of my glossy box mystery boxes arrive. I couldn't actually tell you what numbers they are. I'm a little bit confused by that. But they have arrived and we're gonna check out what's inside. So for those of you that are new to Glossybox, Glossybox is a UK based beauty subscription box company but they also do limited edition boxes. I hope lots of you got the Fenty box which launched the other day. I know I did. Uh, they also do occasionally mystery boxes. So on Black Friday they had I think it was five or six in total mystery boxes that you could get your hands on for between five and fifteen pounds. So I grabbed as many as I could. Now the Glossy Box December edit has already sold out. I haven't yet unboxed that on my channel, but I will be doing that in the next couple of days. Uh, the January edit has gone live for pre-order. So if you want to sign up to Glossy Box, you can now get the January edit. Uh, all the links are in the drop box below. And I do have a discount code. Okay, so if you didn't see my first mystery box unboxing from the Black Friday mystery boxes, then go and have a little look. I'm gonna link it above. That box looked very different from these two. Love a good glossy box. So basically the first box, so box number one that I got sent was a Halloween edit, which was amazing. Um, I think it was 2018 that that one came out, but uh, really good value. So inside these boxes, in their mystery boxes, you're always gonna get 50 pounds worth of value. We're gonna check out the products that are inside them. Very excited, not had a sneak peek yet, so. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, so the first thing that was in my mystery box was the Nano 3 Hair Styling Rings. So these are from Invisibobble. Um, okay, so, ooh, um, I do actually like Invisibobble, they are good. I don't know if I would use a hair bubble that is that small. It's very, very tiny. Um, you'd maybe use it for like plaits or something, I guess. You know, for like securing the ends of plaits. Maybe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Um, so maybe I would use them. Maybe I'm just not thinking about it properly. Um, so yeah, so we've got three of these tiny invisible bubbles. Next, I have a Trifle Cosmetics Lip and Cheek Jam. Ooh, is it my jam? I don't know. Um, and it says, love deserts, don't be shy, say hi. Oh, don't love desserts. <laughs> Lol. So what do we have here? We have a lip and cheek jam. So this is like a, it's like a tint by the looks of it. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, this is very, very pink. I'm gonna pop a little dot of it on my hand and we'll see what it's like. Uh, okay, so I've just popped a dot of that on my hand and yeah, I guess it's like a, you could use it as a bit of a blush, maybe, a bit of tint. So it says here, a water-based lip and cheek jam that gives you a sweet, healthy, natural flush of colour that lasts up to 10 hours. Okay, so that was quite nice. Um, let's have a little look. So next we have a Contour Cosmetics... Um, lip colour. Let's open this one up. Oh, that's quite a nice kind of taupey colour. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. That's a nice colour actually. Um, very wearable. Um, I've got lots of colours like this, but it's just that kind of like nice taupey, pinky, nudie colour. Um, I've never actually heard of contour cosmetics. I don't think. I've not seen this in a glossy box before, so. So next we have a Bella Pierre Cosmetics Highlighter and Eyeshadow. Ooh, okay. Uh, and it's in the shade Sultry. Okay, so we have a gorgeous highlighter. This is very pretty. Um, definitely, yeah, a highlighter or um, eyeshadow. Oh my gosh. <gasps> okay, I like this. This is very very shimmery. Check that out. Oh, lovely. Very nice. Really happy with that. And then we have something from Lorazzi. This is the Shade Stick Bronze Baton. Okay, cruelty-free, paraben-free. Oh, 
Oh, that's cool. It's um, it's a contour stick. It's a brown contour stick. I bet that's quite pricey, actually. Okay, so that's quite a nice shade. I mean, it looks pretty good. Um, I'm very happy with that. Uh, I will use that. Look at that. And I've not seen that in a glossy box before either. I mean, obviously, I haven't been getting glossy box forever. So, you know, if you've had one of these in your glossy boxes, let me know. But yeah, that is a new product for me. Yeah, next. Nice. So next we have a Inuit shell brush. Um, I have seen this in previous glossy boxes um, and it's kind of just like a nice kind of like contour highlighty brush. Really pretty. It's very kind of quirky. I love how fun this is. Such a gorgeous kind of idea. Um, but yeah, I do actually have one of these already somewhere. So next we have a Batiste Mini. Um, this is the Shampoo Express Sans U Batiste dry shampoo. Okay, so it's in the shade dark brown. So this is a tinted dry shampoo. So if you, like me, have one or two little greys that sneak through every month, you know, after you've dyed your hair, um, then this is going to be very handy. Next, I have the Incredibles Jelly Shot. So this is a lip quencher. So it is meant to be like a lip balm. Um, I'm not going to open it because I have so many of these. Um, I've not always got them in glossy boxes, I've got them in other boxes and I've actually bought them before as well. Um, they're very, very cute. They have like a little flower inside them. Sometimes they have glitter in them. Really pretty. Um, but yeah, they're from the brand Incredibles. I don't know actually if they sell these anymore. I'm not sure. Um, but you know, they are nice kind of lip products. Okay, so the next two products are products that we have just already seen. Um, so we do have two repeats. Um, we have got the Bella Pierre um, eyeshadow highlighter product again. I mean, it's very good. Uh, and then we also have the Lorazzi, um shadow stick, so the contour wand. Um, which I personally am not displeased about. I personally think these are pretty good, so uh, I will use them. And I have a feeling they're both going to be quite high value. Okay, so I definitely preferred the first box to the second box, but I think both of them had pretty good value for money. If I can find any of the prices, I will put them below. Um, I still have three more mystery boxes to come, and that's including the Huda beauty one. I have heard that some people got full on highlighter palettes in that. So excited. So guys, that is everything from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like and subscribe in the drop box below and let me know in the comments what you've got in your mystery boxes that you've discovered that you have loved. Um, but for me for now that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and putting up with the <laughs> colour changing in my video. I don't really know what's going on there. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. See you later. Bye!